Over the past few years, I have posted several videos talking about fumigation and Florida vegetable production. And I get asked the same question often. Why do we fumigate here in Florida? And today I'm just going to take a few minutes to give you a couple of examples of why fumigation is such a critical component of our vegetable production systems. In front of me is the perfect example of why we fumigate. Look at all the purple nutsedge and other weeds that have emerged. Purple nutsedge especially is problematic because it can puncture the plastic mulch. Almost all the plants are dead. Of course you can't see nematodes but that could be another problem. Without fumigation in Florida not only are yields almost always lower, sometimes as you can see as this example you lose the entire crop. First I want to introduce to you our production system and I'm using a tomato field where we've grown some beautiful tomatoes as an example. You can see by my hand plastic is covering a raised bed. We use a plastic culture production system for most of our vegetable crops grown here in Florida. The use of plastic mulch helps with weed control. It also improves water and fertilizer use efficiency. So it's a critical component of how we grow vegetables. The soil underneath of this plastic mulch has been fumigated and that's the thing that I want to focus on for a few minutes today. Point number one, growers fumigate largely because they have to. Most growers that I know, they would prefer not to fumigate. But in Florida, we don't have a winter. It stays warm year round. You can get severe crop loss because pest and pathogen populations can build up throughout the year. So they have to fumigate to control weeds, where you can see here where we fumigate, there are almost no weeds in the plastic. And as you move across and look at areas where we did not fumigate, you can hardly see the plastic because the weeds are so bad. They also fumigate to control soil pathogens as well as nematodes, all of which can cause severe crop injury and crop loss. The second reason that we fumigate is fumigants are applied before the crop is transplanted, which means you don't apply the fumigation while the crop is in the field and perhaps gives the opportunity to reduce overall pesticide application while you're growing the crop, which should be better for the plants, the environment, and for you the consumer. So to summarize so far, we fumigate because we need to control pests. We fumigate because it reduces the amount of pesticides that we need to apply when the crop is in the field. Next I want to cover the idea that within the soil where we're growing the crop there are a lot of pathogens. We call them soil-borne pathogens. In many cases we do not have any other alternative to control them other than the use of fumigants. So we fumigate because it enables us to control pests or pathogens for which there are no other management options. Reason number four that we fumigate is it increases the yield per unit of land. In the past, many of the pests and pathogens that I've been talking about were controlled with crop rotation. So for example, tomatoes might be grown in one year and then you may have pasture in the same land for multiple years and that helped control pests and pathogens. But with the adoption of fertigation systems, which I've mentioned already, which are more efficient in water use and fertilizer use, comes increased cost. The infrastructure is expensive. Growers are, cannot afford to cover that cost, leaving the fields empty for several years. So consequently, they grow the same crop in the same area more often. The other reason is just the increase in pressure for housing. So in areas like Florida and California, where we grow a lot of our winter vegetables, there's also a growing population and the desire to have homes and new suburbs in areas that used to be predominantly agriculture. That puts increased pressure on growers, which means they end up growing crops in the same land more frequently, and that is not possible without the use of fumigants because pests and pathogen populations can increase over time. Reason number five that we fumigate comes down to money. Everybody wants to buy the cheapest products. So when you go to the grocery store, if you're looking at tomatoes or watermelons or cantaloupes or peppers, you're probably going to look for the ones that have the cheapest price. But many times that product comes from markets other than the United States, where labor, for example, is far cheaper. In order to compete, growers here in Florida and across the United States have to have maximum production because their cost of managing all these pests keeps going up and in the meantime they're competing with other countries which can grow produce much cheaper. One of the solutions is fumigation which helps them control pests and helps them increase yields and is a vital component of the production system that enables them to survive. 
reason number six that we fumigate is for pesticide resistance. I'm going to use herbicide resistance as an example. Weeds naturally have mutations that occur in them. Those mutations can enable them to survive a herbicide application that previously they could not survive. Then it becomes difficult to control weeds once they are resistant to the herbicides you're using. Fumigants can help control those populations and help prevent the development of herbicide resistance. I am definitely not trying to argue that fumigants are the perfect solution. They have their own set of problems and issues and perhaps that is a topic for a future video. And of course they cannot be used on their own. They have to be a component of an integrated pest management program. Today what I wanted to do is just summarize some of the reasons why we fumigate here in Florida but also across the United States. And those reasons are to increase yields per acre, to uh, make the system more economically viable, to control pests, to control pests and pathogens that we cannot control otherwise. And our, of course our ultimate goal is to produce food that is safe, healthy, and good for our consumers.